Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part two for this news reporter or bulletin today. It's uh, Monday, November 26, 2012. My website is ggnonline.com and on YouTube my channels are ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. Um, okay, so we left off as 30 cops treat Good Samaritan like a thief and man sues him for a million dollars. So we basically left off here. Police had left the money in the handbag and basically this guy thought that it was left. You know, it's old. Even if he took the money and uh, because he thought so it was just an old ass purse um, unless you can find some kind of identification for you know to return it to there's really it's just kind of finders keepers right uh, but the police are <laughs> it's just so crazy that they're doing they do a lot of this stuff now uh, like these little uh, subtle little things of of testing the public's uh, 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 ethics I guess you can say whether they themselves are just completely unethical and immoral um, and it's proven every day with all these news reports, but they're going to go in here and try to put uh, purses, old raggedy-ass purses, in the middle of a park and sit there behind bushes and have a stakeout, right? Of all the crime and the millions and billions and trillions that are being uh, stolen. Uh, this guy says it was a very bad experience. He's a, a successful real estate agent from Atlanta. And he says, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've never been arrested. And for them to put me in handcuffs in the middle of the day in front of my kids was humiliating. So this actually happened August 11, 2011, as part of a sting operation that NYP calls Operation Lucky Bag. So I guess it's not that lucky. It's a controversial little action in which cops put valuables such as cash, an iPod, or other electronics in a handbag and then arrest whoever tried to walk away with the whatever booty, I guess they call it. But, um, yeah, it's what? It smacks of entrapment and also uh, the, uh, the, what is it, the TSA has been busted stealing iPods and and cash and dealing and stealing drugs and, and, and everything else so Tulsa County checkpoint bus uninsured drivers so this is great Oklahoma is cracking down on uninsured drivers by testing a new method in Tulsa they said they set up an insurance checkpoint in West Tulsa overnight Saturday so we already know that insurance itself in a free market and a free society would not exist uh, we also know that it's forced on people so except for maybe illegal immigrants who like to smash in and drive like crazy and then um and they're not really responsible so but uh it goes on and also says that um they were there until 3 a.m making sure drivers had proof of insurance i'm sure they did a lot more because it says violators received a 250 dollars ticket and those with zero insurance had their cars towed so but you know that they do other things like uh, this, you know, like I said before, they're looking for anything. So they'll look, oh, I smell uh, pot. Oh, I smell alcohol. You know, oh, what's that? And they'll uh, be uh, looking and scoping out inside your car, asking you 20 questions because they're revenue collectors. A Georgia pig arrest man video recording him during a traffic stop. A Georgia police officer was able to maintain his professionalism for only a few minutes before he arrested a citizen who was recording him during a traffic stop. So the 19 year old was charged with obstructing or hindering law enforcement officers because he chose to narrate into his video camera after signing the citation instead of tearing out of the parking lot within seconds of receiving it. So it goes on here and it says that it was obvious in the video that the police officer was trying to teach this individual a lesson. So he is planning a lawsuit, but it says as a result, the individual uh, with the recorder spent two hours in jail before paying a $500 bond to be released. He had to pay an additional $150 because of his 95 Camaro had been impounded. It says he had been in the U.S. Army for two years and is worried the arrest will affect his ROTC scholarship. And here's a video you can check out as well. Links will be posted in YouTube's video description. Philly cop, Philadelphia um, political law enforcement pig questions open carry activists. So an open carry for firearms activist posted his encounter with two Philadelphia police officers to YouTube after they questioned him about his permit and told him he couldn't legally carry hollow point ammunition. But it goes on there says hollow point rounds are permitted in Pennsylvania. The cop uh, asked several questions and said, shut your mouth, don't call me officer. The other cop repeatedly tells Rodriguez that his gun should be concealed and says, I should have pulled my gun out on you, technically. See, that's how they think, right? Because any form of you asserting your sovereignty is imposing uh, on their authority over you, right? Salt Lake City police to wear video cameras. Says, can they turn the cameras off as they are about to beat the shit out of someone or kill them for no reason? That's what Cryptogon asked. It says, mounted on the side of the pair of sunglasses, what Salt Lake City Police Chief 
uh, Chris Burbank says is the future of revenue collecting. It says the body cameras work like dash cameras already in police cars. They'll provide an eye level view of officers uh, on one on one interaction with the sheeple. So Burbank, sounding like Howard Hughes and the aviator, says it's the wave of the future. So Osama also says that these tiny uh, weightless cameras will soon be on every police officer in the state. And he also says that uh, if the city goes this direction, if any agency goes this direction, the expectation is going to be, in my mind, that everyone will move in this direction. Anger is government plans for a new network of road tolls policed uh, by cameras revealed. So if this is in the UK, motors will be expected to pay a new round of pay-as-you-go or pay-as-you-drive charges under plans being drawn up by the government says they already exist for three new toll uh, stations under which drivers will have to pay online or via their mobile phone. says the new charges come at a time when drivers are paying in record 81 pence tax per liter on their fuel, with another rise of three pence planned for January. So, yeah, what they're talking about is automatically recognizing uh, license plate numbers. Police chief uses unique method to control homeless populations. So before I've talked about how they wanted to uh, basically track the homeless, uh, put little scanners on them, RFID chips also, that they wanted to hook them up to Wi-Fi and turn them into Wi-Fi hotspots. In South Park, they wanted to turn them into tires so they can use them uh, for that as well. But um, they're going to move down here as soon as this gets done messing around. A new law would give the Nevada City the power to hand out permits to a small group of homeless, which would then give them permission to sleep in public. But the new ordinance would give some homeless a place to stay, would tell others, mostly the troublemakers and criminals, to stay away. It says that they found a one-of-a-kind way to manage a growing problem. The goal is to start managing the homeless population within our city. Uh, they asked the council members to pass a new camping ordinance. It, says it, it just basically means you can't set up a tent, you can't live in your vehicle, you can't live in the woods in Nevada City, he said, you know, so basically you can't go anywhere. <laughs> and, you know, this is the template, like everywhere else. So it's like you can't really do this anywhere else in the world, for the most, you know, maybe in Siberia or something like that, or in the deep of Alaska. But um, uh, this is pretty standard policy uh, for everywhere. Uh, driving across the United States, I noticed how everything, everything, I mean, everything was fenced off from uh, eastern Midwest all the way out to the West Coast. And it's like that everywhere else. You know, I think it's in Australia. They have, I think it's like a 3,000 miles, the longest fence in the world. And, of course, you got what? The Great, uh, the great uh, Wall of China. But uh, he says that unless you have a permit, in other words, unless you have permission from the parents, you cannot do that. So pay to protest. So some homeless are, are almost making a living. The homeless are actually being uh, hired to be activists, uh, like rent mobs uh, You've seen that a lot. Um, people just, uh, a lot of Obama zombies too, they don't even know what the policies are, but they're, they're bust and they're shipped out there. Uh, to protest against things they don't understand. So they're using the homeless um, on behalf of the Mid-Atlantic Regional Council of Carpenters in downtown Washington, D.C. So they get uh, 8 50 an hour to chant about substandard wages and benefits at work sites where contractors are not using union labor. I wonder if they're actually doing this. It says some of the picketers are homeless. So I wonder if, some, if they're doing this at Walmart as well. Stores start using spy mannequins to boost sales. Fashion brands are deploying mannequins equipped with technology used to identify criminals at airports. It says to watch over shoppers in their stores. Retailers are introducing the IC sold by the Italian mannequin maker to glean data on customers uh, saying it's spooky, said the head of the luxury goods research. You wouldn't expect a mannequin to be observing you. So the mannequin looks ordinary from the outside, but it said inside it's no dummy. A camera embedded in one eye feeds data into facial recognition software like that's used by the police. It logs age, gender, and race of the passerbys. Then students suspended for refusing to wear a school-issued RFID uh, tracker. Sorry, A Texas high school student is being suspended for refusing to wear a student ID card implanted with a radio frequency identification chip. So the school district of San Antonio began issuing these RFID chip-laden student body cards when the semester began in the fall. They have information such as the student's social security number. The RFID chip monitors people's movement on campus when they arrive and when they leave. It says now, so it says now schools across the nation are slowly adopting these things as well. Palm scanners get thumbs up in schools 
and hospitals. Palm scanning technology uses unique blah blah blah, right? Uh, it's not cool. But it says, it's so quick that a child could be standing in line, call mom and say, I forgot my lunch today. So she's by her computer, runs her card, and by that time the child is at the front of the line. And it's already recorded. So it says students take about four seconds to swipe and pay for lunch. And they're doing it with 99% accuracy. We just love it and no one wants to go back, they say. So again, palm scanning technology popping up nationwide. So fingerprint scans create unease for poor parents. Some Mississippi parents are learning a new routine when they drop their kids off at a daycare center that they are taking part in a new pilot program aimed at combating fraud and saving the state money. Under the program, the state scans parents' fingerprints to capture biometric information and it's turned into a number. Then at a daycare center, parents dropping off or picking up their kids put their fingers on a pad and a small keyboard records the exact time a child is checked in or out. I mean, dude, this is like they're, they're treating children when they go in these re-education camps literally like objects, like cattle. But it says here, only the parents of kids who receive subsidized child care have to do the scans. And the program is rolling, roiling some parents as daycare workers. Well, don't send your kids to re-education camps so you won't have that problem. Also, you won't have problems with police uh, visiting uh, your house uh, if your kid is truant. So uh, that's another thing in Texas. They're really a Texas uh, uh, truancy task forces, and they enforce them big time. Also in Texas, there was also schools and uh, uh, parents that were... Um, basically protesting against these RFID chip chip trackers so the last time we saw these little guard tower shacks was at a Walmart parking lot I've mentioned before Walmart is what keeps America going literally I think it's a military um, it's some kind of military operation or something I mean they're gonna be turned into FEMA camps um, you look at them they look like fortresses there's no windows um, they're a transportation and uh, delivery hub and uh, like I said, they may help Americans maintain their standard of living that, you know, really should have been lost about 30 years ago. Um, so they're relying on these Walmarts. And now that these people are protesting, it kind of makes it kind of interesting that they're all of a sudden protesting. Everything is about Walmart now. Because I, I, you know, I think I mentioned before, when you see people not being able to afford Walmart or for some reason Walmart no longer being available, that's when you should be ready for the shit to hit the fan. Uh, he had these little guard shacks. It says, new equipment helps Buffalo police oversee Chippewa. The night before Thanksgiving is one of the busiest nights, blah, blah, blah. So they give you their justification for having these fucking things. That's what they're doing. They're justifying them for you. They're, they're, they're making up your mind, you know. This is what these journalistic um, hacks do. They put this in there, present the problem right off the say, Well, it, it means it's also a big night for the pigs. However, a new piece of equipment will help the pigs keep the streets calm. 30 feet up in the air, Buffalo pigs say the sky watch will give them a bird's eye view of the area, helping them keeping everyone safe Thanksgiving Eve. The mayor says it allows us to be able to see in various directions. The cameras have clarity and expansion of our police camera surveillance system. So as people are just trying to go out and relax, um, the pigs are going to be out there. Yeah, they're also ramping up patrols. They're going to try to collect as much revenue as they can and and exploit uh, the ever-dying middle class to squeeze a little bit more out of them. Big Brother is watching fears over Homeland Security streetlights that can record your conversations and track your movements. So, like something out of a sinister Orwellian vision of future. So there we go. This is to calm you down to make you think that this isn't actually reality. You know, this is way off down the road. Okay, don't worry about it. This is Orwellian. This is Big Brother's is. This is, this is sci-fi. But uh, actually, they've been doing it for, uh, real strong for the past three years. You go down downtown Chicago, you can actually see street lights um, a little, probably about seven feet up uh, in the air. And uh, they have real fancy street lights, and they have cameras in them. <laughs> real nice and cute. Street lights uh, with the ability to monitor conversations and announce government warnings are being installed on American streets. So um, announce government warnings. So um, most, most of you have already... Uh, have seen this uh, stuff before, but just, uh, just imagine when they start barking orders like uh, at the airport. You see that video on YouTube where it's showing the TSA treating people like they're cattle, telling them uh, stop, hold, making them stop for no reason, saying it's a security exercise, and then saying, okay, green light, green light, okay, go, and then they go. 
Imagine when they start telling people when to move, when to stop. Well, they're already doing it with streetlights. They've been conditioning people for years. Thank you.